Thank you for joining us for this Sabbath School Today lesson entitled Living the Advent Hope, number 11. Dear Father in Heaven, the blessed hope is shining brightly. It gives us hope for the future that God's justice will prevail in this world and He will come at last. Help us to see the 1888 truth in this lesson. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. We want to thank God for His justice, don't we? Because history records millions of cases of people, according to the Bible, who have been slain for the Word of God and for the testimony which they held, which are subjects of very gross injustice. Here it is in Revelation 6, 10, and 11. They are pictured as crying out with Job, O earth, earth, cover thou not my blood. How long, O Lord, true, holy, and true, dost thou not judge? and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth. In the same book of Revelation, it tells us of a coming time when there will be massive injustice perpetrated in the enforcement of the mark of the beast. And it will be the time when Isaiah 59 will be fulfilled. Verses 4 through 15, None calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. We look for judgment, but there is none. Judgment is turned away backward, and justice standeth afar off. For truth is fallen in the street, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. The Nazi Holocaust is an example of what mass hysteria can do when the public decide to trust in vanity. And in the case of the mark of the beast, it will be injustice in religion. Persecution, based on a misreading of the Bible, to condemn all who have received the seal of God instead of the mark of the beast. Now there are scholars and theologians that will support the mark of the beast and their specious arguments will be received by all who today have received not the love of the truth, 2 Thessalonians 2.10. Multitudes under popular pressure will follow Peter in denying Christ. He says, I am the truth. But God will have a people who are loyal to truth, though the heavens fall. And you and I may well be tested today without our realizing that we are already in the dock. For sure, the test will come in such an hour as ye think not. Matthew 24, 44. Let him that thinketh he standeth take heed, lest he fall. Second, 1 Corinthians 10, 10 12. God is very much concerned about the cries of his people through the ages that cry, How long, O Lord? Revelation 6.10 God sympathizes with them in their distress because he too knows distress and disappointment. For example, the long delay of the bride of Christ getting ready for the wedding has been a trial to Jesus. Revelation 19.6-8 the passage of time has been a heavy load for Jesus to bear. Isaiah 43, 24, You have burdened me with your sins and wearied me with your iniquities. God has entered into the thinking of time-conscious humanity and has shared their longing for the end of suffering to come. He feels all of the agony of people who suffer. He's not the impassive Buddha-like figure that many have thought him to be. The tabernacle of God is with men, Revelation 21.3. The key element of Bible religion is the great controversy between Christ and Satan. The cosmic conflict of the ages between these two persons. Of course, God longs for it to be over, not for his own selfish account or comfort, but for the good of the universe. Every follower of Christ is involved in the conflict. To be content to remain mere spectators is tantamount to treason. The conflict would long ago have been over and won for Christ if his followers had identified themselves with him in the conflict. It can well be said that the final preparation of a people for the second coming of Christ is precisely that identification with Christ in his struggle. It's a growing up into Christ, a reaching maturity in him, a leaving behind our selfish, 
child-centered concerns for me and mine. Yes, God is concerned about the lateness of the hour in Earth's history, for it was never his intention that the great controversy would drag on and on, world without end. But thank God the promises of God are sure, and it will end. Dear Father in heaven, give us that preparation that is so necessary for us to meet Jesus face to face when he comes in the clouds of glory. This we pray in his name. Amen.